Good evening, everyone. I'm Anthony Card. I hope you all had a great weekend as we get ready for another work and school week. Let's go ahead and look at our weather headlines. Not going to be too crazy this week. It's actually going to be pretty calm. So for the most part tonight, partly cloudy. But the bad news is, is that we're looking at dangerously cold temperatures overnight, especially east of the Cascades, where we're looking at lows ranging from single digits into the teens. So just not easing up. Now we do have an alert for the coast. There's a threat of sneaker waves. We're expecting that to expire by Tuesday. But for the most part, looking ahead towards the next seven days, we're looking at mostly sunny conditions across our region. So let's go ahead and break down that beach hazard statement. This is for Monday night. So this is because of a high to extreme risk of sneaker waves. So you do want to avoid climbing on rocks or any jetties. And the main focus is to never turn your back towards the ocean. Always be aware. It's just something to keep in mind about. So honestly, probably a good idea, probably just to avoid the beaches at this time. So again, this is expected to expire by Tuesday, early Tuesday morning. Now, dropping the kids off to school tomorrow morning. Well, do expect it to be cloudy and foggy. We're looking at 28 degrees, but the good news is, is that it certainly will warm up in the afternoon hours around 3 p.m. where we're looking at 47 degrees, nice and sunny by the time you head home from school. Now tonight for the coast, partly cloudy, breezy, mostly in Crescent City. Our overnight lows are in the mid to upper 30s. Tomorrow's highs are ranging into the 50s, 57, the high over in Brookings and in Crescent City. Sunny, again, windy as well, mostly in a Crescent City area. Then, of course, that beach has their statement in our west side valleys partly cloudy skies tonight expecting fog to develop in the overnight hours going into early monday morning expecting below freezing temperatures in the overnight low we're looking at from the 20s 27 and the overnight low in medford and in ashland 25 in northern california again tomorrow fog early but otherwise mostly sunshine our highs are in the mid to upper 40s east of the cascades mostly clear skies tonight and then again dangerously cold temperatures where we're in single digits in lakeview out Tours and in Shemote teens elsewhere 18 over in Crater Lake but tomorrow mostly sunny our highs are in the 30s and in the 40s 40 is the high over in Klamath Falls. Let's take a look at our seven day forecast first for the Rogue Valley looking at mostly sunshine for your Monday high of 50 then for the most part again pretty quiet forecast where we go from anywhere from partly cloudy to mostly sunny where our highs are in the low to mid 50s our overnight lows staying within the 20s and in the 30s in the Klamath Basin mostly sunshine over the next seven days highs in the 40s overnight lows still freezing temperatures we're in the uh, teens but nevertheless where our, our highs are in the low to mid 40s then we're looking at partly cloudy skies on your Saturday. Northern California, almost the same situation where we're mostly sunny for much of the next seven days, partly cloudy Saturday. Highs are in the upper 40s and the low 50s. Overnight lows are in the 20s. And for the coast, warming up as the week goes on, mostly sunshine, high of 60 on Tuesday. And the overnight lows are in the 30s before we start to see mostly cloudy conditions heading into the weekend.